most powerful tool in science is the human mind. And you need to be open and uh, critical of the published literature. You can't just accept everything that you read about and, and realize that the, the uh, instruments and other tools that scientists use aren't going to do you any good if you don't have a, a creative and objective mind. I think they should not hesitate to question, uh, keep questioning. You know, my advice to young people is to be proactive in trying to obtain their own funding. It's good experience. It shows the professors that you um, are, you know, trying to uh, make an effort to pull your weight. And, and more importantly, if you are successful in getting your own funding, it gives you the uh, freedom to study what you're interested in. Well, to pursue a natural science, uh, you have to have a very solid background in math and physics. Okay. And otherwise, at the graduate level, uh, it may be too late to make up. So you need to be very good in math and physics, and also logic. They should make their own way for science. In my case, I, I tried my own method in, my, in the lab. So I, I read the papers and I apply the method to my materials. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but if it works, if my own method works, it, it's, I, I'm really, really happy. Continue pursuing what really motivates and excites you. If you lose any passion for what you're doing, it becomes much more difficult to do it. Motivation is, is the key. It's more important than anything else. You must be motivated. There must be some fascinating questions that attract you. Persevere. It takes a lot of perseverance. And just remember to keep telling your story.